I know is so explosive and so... Welcome, Climate Viewers. Today is July 25th, 2014. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. We're here on Climate Viewer 3D, and we're going to have a quick update on the MH17 shoot-down. Now, I went and I dug up a lot of stuff that's going to be really fast. The Russian government has released this map. I have updated it as an overlay, as you can see on here. This is the flight path of the MH17 leading to the crash over here. I have uh, verified this crash information several places, including the Boston Globe has a before and after here. And then over here, let me turn this off. And down here it says Russian Defense Ministry alleges MH17 change path. Uncheck that. That's our map. And I've made the uh, flight path here and you can see it leads right over to the crash site. Now that flight path they allege flew directly over this installation. Now I pulled um, early warning radars and SAM sites from uh, a site we'll see in just a second. Um, here's the info I've got. SBU removes battery commander and crew during training exercise MH17 targeted shot down and specifically what they say was there were two SU-25s that were sent up to do aerial reconnaissance and identify control objectives and that um, during that time the Malaysian flight was mistooken for radar uh, signature and fired upon and that the base commander was taken to another location uh, just prior to the firing. Then over here we have on June 21st, 2014, terrorists destroyed radar installation. This is the same installation, so the terrorists were firing on this installation. Here is our launcher. I actually have a photo of it. This is from uh, Wikimapia. A photo of the inside of it and this guy says uh, you try figuring this out if you're a separatist but um, who knows the guy who fired it may have been ex-military so he would have been able to figure that out pretty quickly here's the radar from that installation and as you can see the flight according to them would have passed directly overhead probably shot about here so there you go and then it crashed over here. Now, for those who are wondering, what if somebody else did it? Maybe they could have been fired on from another location, so I looked into that as well. Uh, we have an SA-11 up here, and we have several anti-aircraft missiles here, here, and as you can see, these say SA-11 Garrison. So those are our possibilities uh, for launch locations um, that are within range and have a eyesight of it. And finally, we have the Ukrainian rebel map, so we can see the locations. According to this source, um, these are where the separatists are in this area. You can see that it's very close to the location where the alleged firing occurred, um, and that would explain you know all the confrontations right there. So that's it in a nutshell. I also included uh, down here at the bottom for those who are curious, surface to air missile sites from around the world. This is gonna blow your mind. This is a very big file. Um, but as you can see, there are many, many, many surface to air missile sites around the world. Um, any of which could possibly be hijacked similarly. So if you're concerned about the surface to air missile sites in your location, Come over here to Climate Viewer 3D, click on Places, and then scroll down to Military, and you can also see this file. This is Russian Air Defenses. Um, this is pretty awesome. Check this out. Guy went in and put all these rings up there so you can see. Downtown Moscow is protected like a boss. Very cool stuff. So unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not.